Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner. Uh, MJ here and I just want to give a sneak peek at the setup for my next solo game uh, using one page rules. Uh, my cavern battles that uh, tell the story of the dark elf Alidra. But let's look at the table a little bit and what is all this cotton and all this stuff? Well, Alidra has stumbled across a large colony of giant spiders. Now this is a specific species lives in a colony. So they have this huge web that they constructed, right? And that's where the objectives are actually on some of those uh, webbing bridges. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the webbing, the, the spider web. So in order to make my spider web bridges, I uh, use this kind of plastic. Okay, it's just a clear plastic bag. I cut it, uh, some long strips. Okay, so here's one web bridge. It's very long. And then underneath that, there's another. Okay, and then there's these uh, strandy ones. These are made from rope. They're like strands of web. Okay, and you see them here as well. This is rope that has been hot glued to the plastic. And then I hot glue the cotton all around the rope to give it the uh, illusion that that's the web that's part of the web that's kind of holding everything together, right? So some strands that are coming out and also uh, these strands allow spiders to actually move through even if models can't move through there, right? Um, but anyway, so the bridge is done that way. Then there's, uh, there's some rope here and I just painted that and added a little hot glue to the rope just to decorate it a little bit. Um, and then that gets hot glued to the bottom of the plastic. And then uh, I hot glue cotton to all the plastic and tease it up, you know. And then um, these are the objective markers, by the way. They're nice and clear. They're these gems so that we know exactly what the objective markers are uh, during the game. But then I also put in some bones randomly. Uh, those are not glued. They'll come right off. Um, you know, but I got like some skeletons there and, uh, some stuff hanging. Check out how the cotton, uh, it, like sticks to the stuff. I just like, I don't even have to glue them. And now I have like bones hanging and there's a spider hanging right there. Okay. So basically, uh, all of that, when I, crisscross the uh, bridges it actually forms a nice stable uh, platform all right and in some areas models are not going to be able to stand in those areas we're going to say that they can crawl so I'll just put them on their side or I'll have some kind of uh, crawling token but basically models can uh, move across the bridge you know uh, one way or the other okay so that was the big reason for doing it like this crisscrossing the stuff underneath um i got this idea of a colonial spider by uh real uh in nature there is a spider species in the amazon that is actually colonial they build colonial webs which is very rare and very strange for spiders being that they you know they'll eat each other if, if they come across each other so uh it's a very interesting very fascinating uh spider in the amazon and so i took that idea and said hmm yeah you know colonial spiders why not so uh there is a queen spider down there okay and we also see the lower level of the cave with the outpost spider uh dark elf outpost in the back there okay that is one of the walls with the door that leads to an abandoned outpost of dark elves okay so this is a two layer two level uh cave the one with the 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 layer uh, made by the spider web and platforms here and then the, the lower layer of the floor of the cave um these you'll see here i just made an additional stalagmite uh peg for myself and if you've seen my cave project videos uh my cavern project videos you'll note that uh, these platforms attach to each other with these stalagmite pegs that i make 
out of uh, wood. I have um, like barbecue sticks and I wrap the foil around the barbecue stick with the hot glue and it makes a nice strong peg that I can use to pretty much pin the uh, different platforms together that holds them. Well, those stalagmites and stalactites also help to hold all of the webbing and stuff. So it's a good thing that I added all of this stuff down here, right? Because it really helped to get this effect, you know, of the spiders. It's a very, believe it or not, very, very simple. It took me maybe 15 minutes to get all the webs done and about 30 minutes to set everything up, uh, you know, because I, I kept taking things down. I wanted to see what looked best and whatnot. It's a very easy setup, despite the fact that it looks a little cluttered. It is a very, very simple setup. Really, the, the cavern terrain is what makes it all. So I'm going to give you guys a view, okay? And uh, if you guys are interested, I may have a video in the future where we look more closely at this kind of technique and make other kinds of spider webs. This is a very sheet-like spider web. So if you're interested, uh, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll come up with some kind of video in the future that will show uh, a little bit more closely how I got these done. I got these done this morning uh, very quickly. Uh, this was a very quick and dirty method of getting those webs aboard and doing them in such a way that models can actually uh, be suspended by them. There is the dark elf on the web, okay? And there are other things that I'm, a couple of homebrew rules that I'm going to add uh, so that Elidra can move through the webs freely right here. And her drider companion's going to have no problem moving through those webs, all right? And in addition, Elidra's going to have a spell that's going to help with these uh, spiders that are everywhere, okay?